In this video, I will consider one numerical on series RLC circuit. A series resonant circuit has impedance of 500 ohm at resonant frequency. Cutoff frequencies are 10 kilohertz and 100 hertz. Determine resonant frequency, value of L and C, quality factor at resonant frequency. So in this numerical, impedance is given which is 500 ohm at resonant frequency. We know that the impedance of series RLC circuit that is Z is equal to resistance value at resonance. So therefore, the impedance given, given is 500 ohm that is nothing but resistance because at resonant frequency Z is equal to R. So 500 ohm is given in the problem and we have here two cutoff frequencies are given one is 10 kilohertz another one is 100 hertz. Here 10 kilohertz is higher value therefore we should consider this as the upper cutoff frequency. Therefore the given is upper cutoff frequency is F2 which is 10 kilohertz and lower cutoff frequency F1 is given that is 100 hertz. So with the help of this data we need to calculate resonant frequency value of L and C and quality factor at resonant frequency. So with the help of F2 and F1 first I will calculate the bandwidth. We know that bandwidth is equal to F2 minus F1 that is we have 10 K is nothing but 10,000 minus 100. So 10,000 minus 100 is 9900 Hertz. So bandwidth is 9900 Hertz. Now with the help of this bandwidth I will try to calculate L value. We know that bandwidth is equal to R by 2 pi L. So with the help of this I can get L that is L is equal to we have R divided by 2 pi into bandwidth that is R value is 500 500 divided by 2 pi into bandwidth bandwidth is 9900 so let me calculate L now that is L is equal to so we have 500 divided by 2 pi that is 2 shift pi into 9900 so it gives 8.038 milli henry. 8.038 milli henry. 8.038 into 10 power minus 3 henry. So thus we calculated the value of L resonant frequency. First we will calculate resonant frequency. We know that the upper lower cutoff frequency F1 can also be represented as F0 minus bandwidth by 2 that is so from this I can get F0 value that is F0 equal to F1 plus bandwidth by 2 that is so F1 is given that is 100 100 plus bandwidth is 9900 divided by 2 therefore f0 will be equal to so we have 9900 divided by 2 plus 100 plus 100 so it gives 5050 hertz so f0 is 5050 hertz 5050 hertz so this is the resonant frequency that is question number one is resonant frequency which is 5050 hertz. So thus we found resonant frequency and L. Now I will try to calculate quality factor first that is third one is quality factor. We know that quality factor is equal to F0 divided by bandwidth. This is the formula. So F0 is 5050 divided by bandwidth. So already we have found the bandwidth that is 9900, 9900, therefore Q is equal to 5050 divided by 9900. So it gives 0 0.510. 
So this is the quality factor. Now the last term is we have to calculate a c. So we know that calculate here. So we know that quality factor is equal to one over r square root of l by c. So here we have or I can take squaring on both sides. That is q square is equal to one over r square into l by c or c is equal to one over q square r square into l therefore c is equal to l value is already calculated that is 8.038 8.038 into 10 power minus 3 divided by q square is 0 0.510 square into r square r value is 500 500 square so simplifying this so here we have first let me calculate the denominator that is 0 0.510 square into 500 square it gives this value this is denominator i will take the inverse of this that is it becomes the numerator into we have 8.038 into we have minus 3. So press on inch it will give the result in standard form. So it is 123.61 nanofarad. 121.63.61 123.61 into 10 power minus 9 farad. So this is the value of C. Thus we have calculated R, C, resonant frequency and quality factor. Thank you for watching.